Now, all of you know I'm a proud nerd, but this is one where I actually had a good idea brought to me, and I'll tell you who it came from in a moment. We need to do better with computer, computer science, computer education, and cybersecurity in our schools. K-12, there's no time to wait. Actually, there's a recent study that said 71% of the STEM, science, techno technology, engineering, and math jobs of the future will need to have more knowledge about computer coding, computer science, and such. 71%. Think about your schools in your area and think about what they're teaching. We have a huge gap. We need to close that gap. And so I look forward to creating a work group to work with the legislature, the superintendent, on coming up with great ideas about how to encourage more of this. And you're going to find us willing to make investments. It's that important. Now, the wonderful part about this story is our young people see this. So I had a case this year where I was actually thought I was just doing a photo opportunity. They didn't even give me a staff person with me. And it was to take a picture with four wonderful women from East Lansing High School. They had achieved something. They started a group called Students for Females in STEM. They walked in my office. I thought I was taking a picture. And they gave me two-minute elevator pitches from each of the four about how we had to get our act together in the state of Michigan on this issue. And they were right. And they're with us tonight. So if you could stand up and we could recognize you. As I said earlier, it's about listening to people and understand where they're coming from. And it's important to learn that we can learn from some high school students. We don't have all the answers, and this is a great case where they brought the issue up. We listened, we learned, and we're going to make Michigan better because of it.